today I'm gonna, today I'm gonna go with you guys how to set up your time based effects using your auxiliaries. First thing you want to do is come into your aux master section and have that set up. So we're gonna be using three today. So we're gonna want to turn it on first, and we're gonna want to turn the knob all the way up because it's our wet dry ratio. We want to have it at 100 percent. But if I was gonna have a stereo effect, what I would want to do is hit three and four so I can link them together, and now the right one becomes my pan knob, so I'd put that in the center. But for now, we're just gonna stick with mono. So I want to come to my patch bay over here. And I want to come out of auxiliary three since that's the one we're going to be using. But we're going to be using a reverb, and I want it stereo, so I'm going to have to mold it. So patch it into the mold. Now I have the same signal split, so I can come in stereo into the reverb. And the reverb we're going to be using is the PCM96. So I want to go to the input of the PCM96, and then I want to take the output of the PCM96. And I'm going to route that back into channel so we can monitor it there. And I want to send that back to the multi-track return 1 and 2 because these are the channels we're going to be using. Now, I want to come over to 1 and 2, make sure they're both raised up to unity gain. I want to make sure they're both routed to left and right, hard left and hard right. And then I just go to whatever channel I'm going to use and we're going to take the box. I want to go to aux 3 and I want to turn that one on and then turn it up. Turn it on and then just crank up how much auxiliary you want. And that's all there is to it.